everybody. Welcome back to Everyday Thrifty Living. I'm Cass and that right there is Oni. Hi, everybody. And today we're going to be doing a book review from my January TBR, Three Women Disappear by James Patterson and Sean Serafine. Sean, yes, I said it right. Sean Serafine. Anyway, so let's get right into what this book is all about. My spoiler free, with well, maybe some minor spoilers, just a little minor stuff. Anyway, so we have we are in Florida. It is, of course, Florida. We have an accountant by the name of Anthony Costello, who has been found brutally murdered on his Florida estate. I say brutally murdered because he was stabbed over 17 times. Somebody really wanted him dead. Very simple. Anyway, he was an accountant. He can make profits high, profits low, losses high, losses low. Basically, he can make money disappear, move around, you know, all that corrupt stuff. So his main client was the mafia. And he was the nephew of the Don. So you have the mafia intertwined with this book. On top of him being, you know, found bloodied and dead, you know, brutally killed, the three women in his life are missing. Mm -hmm. Sarah, his chef, Anna, his wife, and Serena, his maid. All three women vanished into thin air. So, of course, cops are trying to figure out who could have murdered him, and they, of course, they zero in on the three women. Intertwined all throughout this, we have a detective by the name of Sean Walsh, who is desperate to try and prove that, particularly Sarah, did not kill Costello. Sarah the chef? Sarah the chef. Sarah the chef. Sarah the chef. The main reason is because that actually happens to be his wife. Which is a little weird. Everyone keeps making that, bringing that point up. You're a detective. You're 15 years on the job plus, and your wife is working for a guy who's basically a mob guy. So, and, and he would he be doing this case considering mm -mm. a conflict of interest? No, 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 no. They threw him off the case immediately. He's been trying to insert himself. So throughout all this, we find out through everyone's point of view. Everyone gets a point of view. We have Sarah, Anna, and Serena. We see their point of view, and we find out throughout the book that uh, they each had a reason to want that guy dead. Well, it wasn't the mafia. The mafia doesn't stab you. They, they just shoot well, you. And the body just goes missing, you know. And of course, Sometimes. and of course, throughout this process, we find out that the detective is not as squeaky clean as he of wants not. to be. He knows his wife is working with a guy that works with the mob. No, so we find out he's not squeaky clean. We never find out the extent of his corruptness, but you can pretty much imagine that he's got to be somewhere on the payroll. Someone, he's on someone's payroll somewhere, basically. And so, like I said, you different points of view and overall it was a really good book it's james patterson it's a short read you know each chapter was like two three pages you do go back and forth a lot that was one little annoying little thing i hate when it's like non-linear type I thing you know when you go back and when forth. you keep going back and forth back and forth but like i said overall it was a really good book and i think i think my one main criticism of this book is that i wish that the big twist the big reveal hadn't happened like right in the middle of the book it happened maybe towards the end rather than basically halfway through the book so you're just reading it once you realize it, you go oh and then you, you have want, to continue reading you on want to put the book down i mean you find out you pay, you pretty much find out what happens to him you pretty much find out it was the maid who was having an affair with the maid no no <laughs> No, it wasn't anything like that. But like I said, these three women were captivating in their own way. Um, we saw a lot of Sarah. We saw we see a decent amount of Anna. Not so much Serena, believe it or not, if I recall from this book, which is a shame because she should have her own, t you know, stories as well. You know, you know her own thing as well. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, three women disappeared. This book got this book off of Amazon for roughly seven eight dollars because this is a mass market books paperback. Those are pretty inexpensive. So. If you liked James Patterson, you haven't read this one yet, uh, definitely check it out. It was a pretty good read. I give it like 3.8 to 4 stars. Out of what? 5. Oh, I thought it was out of 10. Out of 10, it'd be like 7. 7.5 out of 10. I think that'd be good enough. Not convincing me to read it. <laughs> anyway, it was a good book. I enjoyed it, and I'm glad it was on my TBR, and I'm glad to finally put it on my little book, my little bookshelf and put it away and stare at it from afar once in a while when I have to clean the dust off of it. Wait for me to drop coffee on it. She did. She dropped coffee on us right there. <laughs> she had she had she had this weird moment I where had she a like moment she the, and it fell. And well, who tells you to leave it on the computer table? It's a computer table. You leave coffee. Well, there. It fell on that and not on the computer. So that is going to be three women disappear. 
Thank you so, so much for watching. And now uh, Odie's going to disappear. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I'm doing a February TBR. I'm probably going to do one for March. So this month, I'm just going to be reading more books, more short stories. To and be redundant. And yeah, so that's going to be it for us today. Thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, we will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night. Day where, or night. Wherever you are. Or mid-afternoon or dusk. Bye, everybody. Bye.